In this online guitar lesson, Jimmy Dillon's going to show you how to play Lipstick Sunset by John Hyatt. To better learn this song, get the free guitar blueprint with all the chords, tabs, lyrics, and more at jimmydillon.com forward slash blueprint. It's totally free, and it'll help you learn this song a lot easier. All right, I get a lot of requests for uh, for John Hyatt songs. If you don't know him, he's a phenomenal songwriter, great artist in his own right. You've probably heard his material, though, if you don't know him personally. Uh, Thing Called Love, Bonnie Raitt was a big hit with that. and He's written a lot of great songs that have been covered by other people. I wanted to do uh, my version of a song on, uh, of his that's one of my favorites. It's called Lipstick Sunset, great lyrical content. and. Uh, it's a, little, uh, it's, it's a little on the intermediate side, but um, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm doing this in a drop D, so what that means is I'm taking that low E and turning it down to a D, one full step. Some of you will be familiar with this. So, so in, in this song, the chords are D, and then there's a B minor, and a G, which is played like this get to that, or you can do it like this. And then there's a uh, F sharp major, and an E. So the, I'll play it through the song a little bit for you. I'm going to play a verse and a chorus for you, and you can hear what it sounds like. Lipstick sunset. Still the Hanging in the trees, and the creek is running high. Now, I forgot to mention that A chord, sorry. And there's also an A sub. I'm going to show you. So this has got a couple little moving parts to it where it walks up. So let me break down the verse for you and show you how it goes. The verse and the chorus are contained in the same general section of the song. So. Uh, So the verse goes, there's a lipstick D sunset. And what I'd like to do is uh see it across the other side. So I'll do it like a D A G. Then back to D. There's a bit of sweet B minor. Then we go to an A here. And then you do a quick stop on the G. F sharp major. The dawn somewhere B minor. To to E. And then I do a little lick here. So it's just like a slide up to the to an E. We're gonna add E, right? D. And then I walk this up to the fourth fret of the low E string. And then to a full G. And an A to D. And a quick change, G A. And then I do this little A seventh sus to set up the verse. Now I know there's a lot of moving parts there, but I'll try and tear it apart and do it slowly so you get to, it's worth it though at the end of the day. 
Hey friends, we've got a super exciting announcement and we'll get you right back to your guitar lesson. Every Wednesday, Jimmy picks a few winners to give away prizes like free guitar courses, swag and apparel, and occasionally we'll even give away free guitars, gear, and sometimes we even give away cold hard cash. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and you're automatically entered into the contest. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to get updates. And be sure to like the video and comment down below and you'll earn even more chances to win. Winners will be announced every Wednesday in our Wednesday video and in our community tab. So keep an eye out for your name being called and good luck. Okay, back to your guitar lesson. It's a little tricky with that F sharp major B minor E. But I'm just gonna play it slowly and I think it might be worth it for anybody that's a John Hyatt fan or if you want to expand a little bit on your repertoire. Uh, and that low that low D just makes for a really nice fat sound. Well the radio is playing. Summer heat is on in there, some of which I added myself and some of which he does uh, on the record. But uh, mostly it's just kind of a, you know, I was always talk about inhabiting the song. This one, this one has kind of one of those, um, it feels like sort of sitting by the Mississippi River kind of, you know, in the cool twilight. The visual is very cinematic of it, but the vibe of the song is just so, you know, it's taking its time. Um, as far as the, that one little walk up, I wanted to kind of go over that real carefully with you. So that's the D chord. And then you drop 
your third finger on the fourth fret of the E string, and then move up to what I consider a full G chord. So the reason we call that a G chord is because normally we'd be back here, right? But we're down a full step on that E string. So I know this is a lot to think about, but hopefully it's worth it. So when you're playing a G and drop D, it sounds like it looks like this. You gotta move that that finger up here which would normally be here, you move it here, and then you add a D note here. It's like a really full chord. And then a regular A. The only thing I, want, the thing I want to mention is when you go to that F sharp major chord, you kind of got to be careful because remember you're down, you're down a full step with that low string, so you don't want to do a regular. That's not going to work, right? Because you're, you're not, that's not enough sharp anymore. So you have two choices. You can either do it like this. And I tend to do it, I'll, I'll actually do it with this high E in there. That has a nice sound to it. Almost a seventh sound, right? That's your seventh. To an F sharp. Or you can just play it full like that. I like this. Because it's a. Straight B minor, straight E. Now I will do a little sus on the E sometimes. And then this lick you probably know if you've done any blues. You're just sliding up on the G string with your third finger to the fourth fret. And then you do a pickup with your third finger on the fourth fret of the E string. Kind of like when you're playing the blues and you do a same kind of move. And then you do your walk up. So that's a song by the great John Hyatt, one of my favorite songwriters, and uh, I've seen him on tour many times. Uh, he's he was in a band called Little Village with uh, Ry Cooter, Nick Lowe, and Jim Keltner. If you've not heard that, but John's stuff on his own is really great. His versions are generally more raw than you know some of the pop covers of his tunes. But I really like John and, and that's one of my favorite things. And the last thing I want to say about that song is if you check it out, if you check out the album version, I think it's on either Slow Turnin' or Bring the Family. Can't remember now. But it was when Ry Cooter was with him, so one of my one of my all time heroes, Ry Cooter, and his solo on that song is just stunning. Fantastic solo. So that's the Six Sunset by John Hyatt, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you so much for checking out this online guitar lesson with Jimmy Dillon. Remember, you can get the free guitar blueprint for this song that'll help you learn it a lot easier at jimmydillon.com forward slash blueprint. It's totally free and it's yours to keep. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification because every Wednesday we pick random winners to give away guitar courses, swag, guitar gear, and sometimes we even give away cold hard cash. And all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and you're eligible to win. And if you want even more chances to win, like this video and leave a comment down below and share it with any friends you think might enjoy. All winners will be announced in our Wednesday video and in our community tab. Good luck.